Hey guys, I'm Andrew and I'm going to walk you through the setup of the Ariel A1. When looking for a good spot to set up, look for healthy trees that have a diameter greater than 7 inches. A good rule of thumb is no smaller than from your thumb to your pinky, like this. Ideally the trees should be spaced anywhere from 10 to 15 feet apart, but you can set up on trees as far as 26 feet apart. In the bag you're going to find everything you need to get off the ground. You have your tent body, your fly, your webbing straps, poles, pegs, and guy lines. Start by finding the center of the straps marked with the orange plus, and then wrap the webbing around the trees. Fully wrap trees when possible with the orange plus facing the opposite tree. If your trees are really far apart and extra webbing is needed, point the orange plus away from the opposite tree. We recommend setting the tent up at about waist height. When looking at the tent body, you'll notice one end, the buckles are staggered. This is what we call the purchase end. We're going to start with the static end where the buckles are together. Feed the webbing through both buckles and then back through the bottom buckle. Pull the excess webbing through, but leave a lot of slack at this point. Repeat on the other side. Moving to the purchase end, feed the webbing through the first buckle on the tent body and then through the roller cam. Repeat on the other side. Depending on tree spacing, you may need to move the roller cam along the webbing. To do this, you loosen off the slot buckle underneath and move the cam in either direction. Once the tent body is connected in all four corners, you can start applying some tension and move around and adjust your setup to create a nice even level surface. Once everything looks good, feed the webbing through this final buckle on the purchase end and apply tension. Find the poles and open them up. Swivel the poles apart with the small ridge pole on top. It's easier to connect the ball and socket joints before pushing up the main body. Push the main pole up and nest into the metal eyelet. Then clip the tent body to the pole. To install the fly you can either toss it over the tent or an easier way is to connect the fly to the tent before pushing up the main body. To connect the fly to the body, you'll find two clips in the fly that connect over the ball and socket joint. Now push up the main pole. To connect the fly corners, take the small gate hook, feed it through the metal buckles, and then clip it onto the small metal ring in behind and adjust all four corners. Look for the guy lines in their pouch. There are two guy lines made of half nylon braid and half bungee. Connect the ball on the nylon braid to the small loop at the bottom of the fly door. Then connect the ball on the bungee through the loop halfway up on the fly door. Apply tension. On the pegs you'll find a small gate hook. Connect this to the nylon braid. Then pull the peg out until it hits the knot and push it into the ground. This system is designed to self-adjust and adapt to most setups. The full setup takes about six minutes and the final step is to jump in your aerial and enjoy. Enjoy.